Welcome to all of you. Today we are going to study chapter 1. The chapter name is Natural Resources. Today in this chapter we will be studying the following areas. What are natural resources? Type of natural resources? Man-made resources? Conservation of resources? And sustainable development? So these are the various topics that we are going to cover today. So first topic, what are natural resources? Natural resources means any resources which occur naturally without the help of human being are called as natural resources. So natural resources is one of the resources we will be able to uh, get freely from the environment and these resources is having highly importance and these resources is already with this existence in this nature. The second topic we are going to cover is type of natural resources. There are various types of natural resources. One is biotic and abiotic resources, renewable and non-renewable resources, actual and potential resources, continuous resources. So these are the different types of natural resources. Moving to the first resource that is biotic and abiotic resources. So what do you mean by biotic? Biotic means it includes all biological or living beings such as plants, animals, insects. So these are considered to be bio, biotic resources. Biotic means it's a kind of either biological or living beings such as plants, animals, insects can be considered as biotic resources. Whereas abiotic is just the opposite that is if it is biological it is physical that is it includes physical or by, by uh, biotic we have seen it is living being whereas abiotic is no living being such as land, minerals, soil water climate so these are the various abiotic resources next resource we are going to study is renewable and non-renewable resources renewable the word renewable can be split into three re means resources new means renewed able means quickly resources can be renewed quickly are called as renewable resources the best example are forest and soil the next is non-renewable resources. Resources which can be depleted quickly are called as non-renewable resources. The best example for non-renewable resources are iron ore and gold. What are and next we are going to study is actual resources and potential resources. Actual resources are the resources that we are using currently. The best examples are oil resources of Saudi Arabia, hydroelectric power of Niagara Falls. Deposits of iron ore in Madhya Pradesh. Potential resources. Potential resources are the resources which are not using now, but it will be used in the near future. Same as actual resources. The best examples are waterfalls, winds, and solar energy. Next, we are moving to the next topic that is continuous resources. The natural resources can be continuous. These resources are always available and do not rely on human action. The best examples are one is solar energy as you see the image of solar energy then the tidal energy next topic we are going to study is distribution of natural resources we know that natural resources is not created by human being this is uh, the it is uh, occur it is already uh, not occurred by, with the help of human being it is already exist in this nature beyond that there is a natural uh, in these resources is not being distributed on the same location. We will not be able to find out every resources on the single place or single locality. Whereas we will be able to find these resources in different places. The reason why this distribution is because of two reasons. One is because of different landforms and different climatic conditions. These distribution varies uh, because of these two reasons. Uh, because of uh, different landforms and different climatic conditions. Next topic we are going to study is human made resources. What do you mean by human? Human means we are human being. We are made, that is, we made some kind of resources. How we human being made resources? That is the top that is what we are going to study in this topic. Nature has become resources when human beings started using it. With the help of technology, they link with the resources. Uh, when human beings started using resources, what happened was that uh, each resource is having its own importance. We don't need every resource at the same time. We need some resources for our day-to-day -day life. We need few resources for each uh, day. Uh, we need only few resources. Every resource is within the nature, but we use only few conception of resources for our day-to-day -day life. 
rest of the resources we use uh, with the help of technology we use different kind of products with these resources as raw material we will be taking raw material from the nature and with the raw material we use uh, with the help of technology we use different kind of products and we use to distribute it in the market and that is called human made resources whereas human resources something different from human made resources human resource means we all people that is people themselves are considered to be human resources when people develop their skills and knowledge through education and learn and create more research work what happened is that people are creating some kind of contribution to the society or the nation so a human being are considered to be some of the resources since they have developed their skills and knowledge and contribute to the society or the nation, each human being are considered to be a resource. Conservation of resources. Conservation means we used to conserve more. That is, uh, we used to study that how in, in, in the previous uh, classes, that is in 7th standard, we used to study how to conserve our nature, how to conserve our motherhood, uh, how to conserve our uh, um, surrounding how to uh, lead a conservation life. Every con the word conservation we have come across in the social science chapters and various other subjects. Too. Conservation of resources means resources are depleted or degraded by reducing the consumption of resources. All the natural resources are interrelated. If one part is affected, all the other parts get affected in some other way. That is, all the resources if you do not conserve. It get depleted or degraded. So how to con how to reduce it by re by reducing the consumption? Uh, by reducing the consumption, what happened is that we can uh, protect the resources. And if uh, if you are not protecting it, what happened is that one of the natural resources when it get depleted uh, or uh, or depleted or degraded. Uh, these since all these resources are interlinked or interrelated, if one part of this resources is affected all the other part will also get affected in some other way and we will not be able to get the resources what we need for the day to day life so that is the reason why we have uh, seen the topic uh, in the textbook conservation of resources next uh, topic we are going to study is sustainable development we have already studied sustainable development in class 7 so we are going to recollect the points of sustainable development sustainable development means we can use the resources without depleting them the reason why without depleting them is that if you deplete the resources same as conservation if, if you if you conserve the resources we will be able to use again and again whereas if you do not conserve the resources it started depleting so we should make sure that we use the resources without depleting, uh, depleting it and each individual and each human being should make sure that we use the uh, resources according to our need we should uh, that uh, before the uh, based on our need uh, we should use the resources and it should be wisely used we should not use lavishly we should not uh, uh, use the resources uh, unwantedly we should use the resources what we need present you should not use the resources what you need uh, not for present but for future don't i mean uh, don't spend not many uh, resources so use the resources what you need at present and use it very wisely in such a way that there is sufficient food, water and livelihood for both the generation that is the present generation or I mean present generation of the people who is living in this world and the future generation who is coming to this world that is the reason why I pointed out two images that is the present generation that is the earth with this life on and this earth we are the visitors of this earth and we have to return this earth to the future generation. So it is our responsibility to save this uh, environment and these resources and give back to the future generation. So this is called sustainable development. So this is how we are going to end this chapter of natural resources. Thank you and have a nice day.